Hi guys, this is him again from redisco.com. In the previous video tutorial, I showed you how to set up your development environment in Windows operating system. And uh, in this video, I will show you how you guys can set up your development environment for uh, Play Framework in Linux. I'm using Ubuntu. You can follow same steps on any Linux distribution. It doesn't matter. So let's download Java JDK. go to this link and let's also download uh, IntelliJ and the last thing that we are going to download is SPT now first let's download uh, JDK right now we are using linux operating system and this is 64 bit so that's why we are going to download this file save this file and because i already downloaded it so that's why i'm not going to download it again click on this download button and it will download IntelliJ for you. Save the file. Again, I have already downloaded it, so that's why I'm not going to download it again. Let's uh, install these two things. Let's open terminal and type sudo n a u t i l u s and type your sudo password. now we need to copy these to zip files to opt directory now right click on it and click on extract here we can delete this zip file now right click on it and then click on rename and copy this folder name now open this uh, txt file i will provide you these commands in the description of this video don't worry about it we need to replace this folder name with our folder name just like this right Replace it here as well. Just copy all of these commands. And uh, Open this folder and open command window here. Paste all of these commands. Let's clear it and type java dash version. So as you guys can see that java install and which is java 1.8. now we can close this our jdk is installed now let's extract this ide click on extract here now open command window here go to bin directory list file and run this script do not import accept
select your preferred theme. I'm going to go with this native theme. Next step, default plugins, next, and click on start using ID IDE. Now you need to go to configure plugins and browse repository and type Scala here. And this is the Scala plugin that you guys are going to download. This will set up our IDE. Now let's uh, install uh, SBT build tool. Copy this line, just first line. Open terminal. Type sudo and then paste the line. Type sudo password. Now press enter, type yes, and it will install this SPT for us. I'm going to pause this video recording right now and I will be right back when it's done. It's done with the downloading and installing SPT build tool. Now let's go to play website. Go to downloads and download this starter application. Let's go to this folder where we downloaded our application. I'm going to copy this file to my desktop. Right click on it and then click on extract here. Delete these two files. Delete all. Open command window here and then type sbt space update. Again it will update all dependencies. It will take some time, our IDE is ready and we just have to import this project into our IDE. I'm going to pause this video recording right now and uh, I will be right back when it's done. So it's done with downloading all of these dependencies. Now let's fire up our IDE. Now click on import project and uh, from here let's go to home, ready Scott, desktop and here is the project that we are going to include in our IDE. Now click on import project from external model, select SPT then click on next. Now click on this next button, click on JDK and this is for just one time then go to this opt directory and then select this java jdk and click on ok now uncheck this and click on finish now click on ok Let's change it to
now let's compile this type sbt now type run application server started now let's go back to localhost colon 9000 and we should get our string so i hope you guys enjoyed this video please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more videos and i will catch you in the next one thank you so much for watching